My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a very desirable 1966 Chevy Nova. This is a real super sport factory marina blue with a correct 327, 275 horse motor, a factory four speed, and a posi rear end in here. All of its original sheet metal too. Visit volocars.com. You can read all the specs, study all the pictures, get the price, not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars that are all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in this Super Sport Nova. These have become very popular cars. Well, they have been for quite some time. It's a handsome car. It's a nice looking car. And they're little and lightweight. So guess what? You put a good motor in there, you got yourself a little muscle car here. Uh, I've heard someone say this is like the... The 34 Ford is to the old hot rods. That's the Nova to this generation. Uh, but anyway, uh, this car was sold new in Kansas, I think Topeka, and it lived there all of its life. It's all the original sheet metal on the car. If you look at our pictures underneath, it's not glamorous, it's not painted, and that was on purpose. It's the original floors, never been spray canned over, undercoated. It's the original floors. So again, it's not polished and glossy, but if you know what you're looking at, you're going to see perfectly clean uh, the braces, the floors, the pinch welds, all that's really nice and dry metal. The front end components look to be good. The bushings look good. It all looks decent. None of it looks brand new, but it looks good. It does have new shocks. The brakes were redone, new wheel cylinders, new shoes. They recut the drums. The Saginaw transmission is the correct one for the car. That's been taken apart, inspected, serviced. Uh, the shift linkage that's in here, they paid $1,500. It's the correct chrome handle with the lockout reverse. It's unique to a Nova with a Saginaw transmission. That's why it was so hard to find one. That's the correct one. They could have just slapped a Hearst shifter in there, but that's correct. Uh, the rear end is a correct 1966 Nova Posi rear end. Uh, it has, I think, 355 gears in it now. That also was taken apart, service, new fluid, new gasket. Brand new dual exhaust, brand new fuel tank and sending unit. Uh, so underneath is just good, respectable undercarriage. Even behind the tires, the lower quarters, there's no patches welded in. It's just nice, clean metal. The body is really straight. The gaps are spot on. I mean, it fits really nice. There's no issues. All the seams are nice and clean and everything's crisp and clean. The body's nice. You look down it, it's straight. You look over it, it's straight. Uh, repainted original color, marina blue. The metal flake is laid out all smooth and even. I didn't see any problem areas. There's no cracking or any issues like that. Uh, and then it has a nice clear coat finish. I grew up buffing cars. It's a tad fuzzy. You could wet sand it and buff it, make it like glass. The way it is right now, it's better than your brand new car factory finish. So the paint's real nice. There is a spot up here on the fender. It looks like something dripped on it or someone set a rag. There's some little tiny area of blisters. And it looks like it was runs. So something dripped on there. It's not going to get any worse. It's barely noticeable. I only found it because I was looking for the flaws before the video. Uh, up front, the grill and all the trim looks to be real nice original. The bumper has been re-chromed. The emblem, probably new. That's real shiny. The emblems on the side are new. The door handles are new. Has a bow tie mirror on that side. That's new. Uh, the rocker moldings are the original. I'm going to say they're good, not mint. He has original SS hubcaps, also good. New black rim, tires look excellent. The windshield and the back window are new glass and all the new gaskets inside and out, new gaskets around the vent window. 
tail panel, also good original. It's fine. It's nice. Uh, the bumper is re-chromed. It's got a good clean trunk. You look up in here, there's no cuts or splices. Trunk uh, pan is all nice and clean. And uh, they did a nice job with the gray and white spatter finish. A nice, neat job. Has a new mat, has new weather strip. Uh, trunk lid and the jam is all gloss blue paint, real nice. The interior, it was born a uh, black bucket seat interior. They put new cushions in the seat. So it, uh, not only does it feel real good, but it makes the seat covers fit perfect. There's not a wrinkle in these seats. Uh, so front and back have been reupholstered. New door panels, new window cranks, new armrests, new handles, new carpet, new sill plates, new headliner and visors. The instrument area is all clean, original. The lenses, the knobs, the heater controls, all that looks real nice. Has a new chrome bezel around the original AM radio. The dash pad looks like that's probably new. Steering wheel's original. And in the engine compartment here, a correct, a period correct, the right casting numbers and codes, the right stamp on the front. It's a 327, 66 Nova motor, 275 horsepower, uh, uh, made it to a four speed. So it's got all stock manifolds, valve covers, it does have the double hump heads. They did upgrade it. It's a new, uh, looks like a Holley carburetor. They put the reproduction decals, GM hoses and clamps. Uh, the battery's bolted down properly, has new spring clamp battery cables. The motor was taken apart. They inspected all the uh, cylinder walls and bearings, and everything was good. Put it back together, new gaskets, nice new fresh Chevy orange paint. So the center console, I already told you about the shifters, correct? It's the original console. It's not broken or beat up, but there's some pitting in the chrome. It's original. Let me fire it up. We are missing the cigarette lighter, so maybe we got one coming. You'll have to ask the salesman. I didn't even touch the gas pedal. So it should be a spunky little car. It's not the biggest motor out there, but in a little Nova with a four-speed and a posi, you should have some fun with this one. warm up obviously. I know as soon as I get out it'll die. I'm not touching the gas right now. It's running on its own. Well, you get the idea. The car runs great. Obviously, just needs to warm up. I don't want to kill myself and the photographer in this little room. Uh, but the motor is fantastic. Clean metal in here, too, I wanted to point out. The factory pinch welds. The metal is straight, clean. It's not wrinkled, and it's not schmoozed up. It's a nice satin black finish. The original trim tag tells you the color, the bucket seats. It tells you it's a four-speed. It tells you it's an SS. And the SS is also right in the VIN number of this car. So there's no, no questioning its authenticity. Visit volocars.com. I just gave you my impression of the car, but any specific concerns or questions, go to volocars.com and you can talk to the salespeople. They will answer any of your questions about the car, the process, the financing, delivery, paperwork. They'll make all that real easy for you. If you just enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one posted.